Now, I know I said Grandpa Gohan would probably be the last one I do this with, but I thought, why not just go through this all again? And, uh, I don't know, except for Yamcha game, because Yamcha, it's too random. Go through these, well, maybe Yamcha game. Go through these again on a higher difficulty and then on the maximum difficulty, just, just for fun. Because, um, I really love this game, and I want to milk it for as much as I can, and granted, it's not getting many views. Who cares? <laughs> So, I already did the uh, the next World Tournament after this one, on a higher difficulty. We'll do this one now. Um, let's try to be characters that really haven't shown up much at all in recent years of games. I'm going to save Bobbity and Spopovich for later. Uh, Dr. Wheelo. He hasn't showed up in anything in a long time. Not counting like Dragon Ball Heroes or anything like Xenoverse. All that stuff. Like, technically, after Tenkaichi 3, Infinite World came out. And then uh, I believe it was like Raging Blast, Battle of Z. Fun fact Battle of Z was the first game, I think, in the US to have. Yeah, now it's Fidel as the final fight. Battle of Z was the last, or the first game to have. Uh, Beerus, and I think Weeks as playable. Anyway, let's have a little chit-chat. Uh, I recently put up a top five characters I would like to see in the new Budokai Tenkaichi game. Um, I thought I'd give my little bullet points on why. But first, let's see this silly, silly intro between me and Sulza here. Let's go, buddy. No one will get in the way of my plan. Yeah. Kurizame Squad is the best. Just gonna dodge his attack. Playing as a kaiju character, I know, I know, it's kind of cheap. Oh, I can't power up, that's right, I'm an android type character, so it powers up by itself. But I can do this. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want that body. But uh, I thought I'd give my little bullet points here. On why I want those five characters. Granted, I want a lot more, but those are my top five. Technically, you could say number six would be, um, I don't know, those are the top five I want. This will be a two -round fight. Oh, wow, I beat up Cooler's Armored Squad Leader. Now I'm going after the Genyu Force Leader. Um, reason I want Jocko in the next Tenkaichi game, uh, this falls under the same reason I kind of want Toa in Android 21. I think. I'm going to put those three in this part. I think they're some of the most interesting new characters that have been added to the series. Jocko's a lot of fun. Toa's really cool with the whole like magical element and being Deborah's sister. And 21 is just 21. Like I really loved her in Fighters. That she has two character slots. She was added to um, Xenoverse 2. And um, I just think 21... I have a feeling 21 is definitely going to be in the game, though. But, uh, yeah, 21, I would love. And, like I said, um, a lot of these characters, I just want to see, like, a s cinematic super with them in the style of the uh, Tenkaichi series. Like, I think Jocko will have an amazing one with his little style of posing and the jokes and whatnot. And, um... Oh, got him with the Photon Strike! And, uh, same thing with Toa. I think she can make some really cool moveset that isn't garnered to the, um, Xenoverse-style gameplay. Granted, her ultimate attack in that game is healing. Oh, God! Dang, you almost knocked me out. What the hell? I'm gonna try to go for my ultimate attack. I totally forget what it is. I think it's just a laser. Or it's like, a Just, uh... Oh, I just might not get you out of the ring. Oh, just gonna sidestep. Okay, maybe not. I'm just too big. Get enough with this BS. Oh, you can't deflect here. Okay, okay, that's it. Be gone. How do you turn around? Here we go. Planet, guys. Oh, it is just a stupid explosive wave. So yeah, I think Jocko, Toa, and um, 
Android 21 would look have some really great looking ultimate attacks in this style of game. And now the two kind of obscure, if you don't read the manga. Uh, we'll start off with uh, Granola. One, his name's Granola, which is hilarious because it's a every character has a pun on their like food and stuff. <laughs> uh, I really love Granola's design. And the eye patch thing being a uh, what was her name? Oatmeal, I believe. No, that was a planet. Uh, I forget his little eye patch AI companion, but he's a sniper, and I think it would just look really awesome. And I would just love to hear how they would think Granola would sound. And the same thing with Moro, because the Moro arc in the Super manga, so far the best arc. And not only that, think of that like in this how they have like those ultimate attacks, which I think they're gonna make them look more like Raging Blast attacks, especially Raging Blast 2. Moro, spoilers for the uh, Dragon Ball Super manga. Just skip ahead maybe like a couple seconds here, or I'm just going to count it down if you don't care. Three, two, one. Moro is a magical creature. I love his design, and he kind of fused with planet Earth. Imagine that as an ultimate attack, how that would look. And um, even though I kind of thought Moro kind of started to look lame when he absorbed the android power, I just like the goat look, but still, I think Moro is a cool character that, like, they even mentioned. He's not too strong, but it's magical powers that um, just make him dangerous. And yeah, I, I just really also would love to hear how they would make Moro sound if they ever animate the um, Moro arc. Same thing with the Granola arc. Hell, I wouldn't even mind if, like, they had a DLC pack for, like, the Galactic Prisoner saga. And then they had a pack for everybody in the, um, Granola arc. Granola Survivor saga or something like that. But, um, the reason why I didn't pick, like, say, like, Gamma 1, Gamma 2, they're pretty much guaranteed to be in it. Like, there's no way they're not going to be in it. They were added to Xenoverse... Two, Gamma 1, Gamma 2 are pretty much going to be, in my opinion, in the new Tenkaichi, either as the base roster or DLC. Because if you notice, every time a new movie comes out, that character is either added to the games as DLC or base roster. Look at Super Broly, Super Saiyan Go, I'm sorry, Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta, and um, yeah, so... I'd be, I'm really excited if Gamma 1 and 2 do make it, which I think they're going to, because Gamma 2 has so much personality, and Gamma 1 has a really amazing fight in that movie. Um, who else people have mentioned? Or who else could we just say would be fun? If they go for, like, the joke character route, <clears throat> like, because uh, they have a lot of joke characters, Magenta, because, one, he's voiced by Charles Martin A., who's the voice of uh, Super Mario, in case you didn't know, who's not Chris Pratt, I should say. And, of course, uh, Dr. Hito, which I think would be super hilarious. <laughs> but, um... It, 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 I have, like, high hopes and just also not getting too high hoped up for uh, Tenkaichi 4, if it's going to be called that, because, like I said, this game has 161 characters as a base roster and we might only get maybe like a base roster of like how it was in fighters or xenoverse which to some will probably be disappointing but game development is getting more and more expensive each and every day hence why they do dlc to help make more money also because you know every company is a business and the business's first goal in life is to make more money so yeah, but yeah. If uh, you haven't already told me, comment below. Who would you love to see? I would love to see Hercule come back. He missed out in Fighters, and he's not that great in Xenoverse. You know, he I think he has like one thing in Xenoverse, but it would have been nice to have Hercule as DLC. And they added Master Roshi, which isn't a bad thing. Roshi's a lot of fun in that. And Videl too. They added Videl. I totally forgot. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back for a little bit here, taunt Fidel here, because Fidel has these type of attacks that, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I can't hurt me. 
Like I said, I, would, I just want to go through these tournaments again on the uh, slightly higher difficulties. And seeing as I just beat the world tournament with a uh, Wheelo here. Kind of cheap, but like I said, I want to play as some of the characters that we may or may not see again in a playable state that's outside of Dragon Ball Heroes. Congratulations! Thanks. So, again, next time, we're not doing this one, because I just did that one with uh, Grandpa Gohan. We're doing the Cell Games. My name's Clicker Roth. I thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for some more Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai Ichi 3 Dragon World Tour, going through all the tournaments on higher difficulties until we get to the final level 3 difficulty.